All right, let's watch the heated debate between Cornell West and Alan Dershowitz over Israel Hamas war. Left wing bigotry, anti Semitism running rampant on university campuses. There is nothing sillier, nothing sillier than talking about what is going on in the world from the framework of like university campuses being bigoted or whatever the f I'm sorry, this is this is simply a method to derail the conversation. This is simply a, a, a successful way to just like talk about some of the most individualist, selfish like there's nothing more selfish than looking at a situation where like a, a, a heavily militarized nation with our fucking dollars and our weapons is like destroying the most dense open air prison on the fucking planet that they've cut off the water, food and 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 electricity to. And then we're like, ooh, what does this say about college campuses in america who where you know a dumbass american college kids are like taking either side of this conflict or some shit it's it's so stupid i fucking hate it so much we are so disgusting in the way that we we contextualize everything from our own individual selfish needs it is so it is so obvious to me that like we do not give a it's just like you cannot contextualize good things and bad things on their own. So you have to uh, you have to do a secondary battle on on fronts that you are more familiar with. This is familiar territory around the world. London, Australia. What's happening? Chanting in Australia, you know, about gas chambers uh, and, you know, like this is this is this is such a silly fucking frame. It's such a silly way to refuse to address the main problem at hand. When we move away from the actual issue at hand, Israel's relentless bombing campaign that is unjustifiable and a human rights violation and, and just the most immoral thing you can do. It's an ethnic cleansing campaign on a population of largely children. That is unjustifiable, it's inhumane, and it's cruel. So you can't have that conversation on those terms. So what do you do? You go, well, here are some of the supporters of Palestine saying deeply and insanely anti-Semitic things. Okay, what do you want me to say about that? Yeah, that's really fucked up. Does this mean that I should... W what's your suggestion? Should I stop defending uh, uh, Palestinian emancipation because some fucking dipshits took over a rally? Or are you a fucking charlatan who just simply wants to distract, deflect, and not talk about the real issue at hand? Because every moment that you talk about this shit is a moment where you're not talking about the actual on the ground realities that Palestinians are subjected to. That's it. What is happening on our college campuses? What is happening among the Democratic Party? Some Harvard students. It's a way to try to paint a fucking brush on every single person that says Palestinians are human beings and they do not deserve this. And it's additionally psychotic for the most anti-Semitic network to put this out there. These motherfuckers do George Soros conspiracies every other week. You think we forgot? You think we don't hear you when you say that uh, Tucker Carlson had the most prominent slot in your news network? It is so disgusting that these guys for them it's just like oh it's just a talking point it's now scrambling to finally rescind their support of their vile letter actually blaming the victim israel for the brutal hamas terror attacks not everyone disagrees with them 2024 presidential candidate former harvard professor cornell west said the students were largely right but they lack nuance he joins us now with reaction along with attorney that's so also, funny harvard that he said that because i don't even think that they lack nuance professor alan dershowitz is with us thank you both for being with us I would usually, you always call me Brother Sean, I call you Brother Cornell. I'm not, I'm not that happy with you tonight. I understand. Um, we could talk about why we... Because we have 31 groups from Harvard. Harvard's supposed... Why'd they put Cornell West against, like, the world's best pet defender? Like, there's no... Sh I mean, I will never understand why Fox News always has the Dersh on. I feel like, like, does the Dersh have some, like, uh, holdout blackmail from, Jeff, from Jeffrey Epstein's house or something on every... And Fox News executive, like, why do they always have this freak on for every single time that, like, uh, they want to rely on like an outside perspective? They just always go to him. Used to be, I always thought the 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 top of the top to get into Harvard. What a what an accomplishment! What an achievement! What what academic excellence you must show a, a, a cut above everyone else. And 31 student groups blaming Israel, blaming the victim. And your answer to this is they are largely right. Hamas. They are. Why are you fucking bullying him? They're 100 percent right. And he Cornell was gave like the loudest condemnations to to 
uh, Palestinians and he's still getting fucking wrecked because there is no room in this world where you can ever side with the Palestinians. There's just no legally permissible, acceptable way to say Palestinians are human beings because that's the ultimate goal here. Okay, the dehumanization campaign must continue because if you say enough is enough, this is fucking ridiculous, you're out of your mind, then you're a bad guy. You're making me feel bad. Fuck you. Why are you bringing this up, you fucking piece of shit? That is the reason why we don't talk about what is going on on the ground and instead talk about what our feelings are about what you said or what he said or what she said. They, they, like The only thing that you should say in this circumstance is an analysis of how that violence began and it wasn't in a vacuum. It is ridiculous that uh, it has been four or five days now of, of exclusively uh, championing like why Israel's cause of, of uh, genocidal ideation and ethnic cleansing campaign in the Gaza Strip is just it's crazy. That murdered children, Hamas that read, murdered read innocent people. That's what I said though, brother. Read okay. That's the what I they said. They are largely right, but lacking nuance. No, not, I didn't say lack nuance. That's the title of the piece. Okay. My actual words were, I'll just be very honest. I got I'm it here in front of the me. Words too, but the words were that Israel's policies of war crimes and collective punishment against Palestinians I'll read set it a to context. You. Israel like, I want to make, I want to mention something here, okay? We have to treat all human beings with dignity. All human beings deserve dignity. That is how you stomp out reactionary sentiment. That is how you push these reactionary ideologies away because people who are comfortable are going to be less likely to be ideologically predisposed to do violence. And those same principles apply here. You can show me a thousand fucking protests of, of people being dumbasses when they're, uh, you know, speaking uh, for the emancipation of Palestinian people. That is not going to make me uh, change my perspective. You are not going to be able to make me change my perspective that Israel's human rights abuses are actually justifiable or that the uh, apartheid campaign is is totally morally righteous somehow. Well, in the United and States Hamas are must primarily take responsibility for killing innocent people. Anybody who kills innocent people are engaging in barbaric acts. You said no matter Israel, who they are, on, what color, what nation, and so forth. Israel and the United States are primarily and The United States has supported and enabled... You explain to these. this audience. I want you to explain. How, explain to how is Israel and the United States responsible for beheading 40 children? How? I'm talking about the context. 545 Palestinian children died in August 2004. Not one American said a word. I believe a Palestinian baby has the same value as an Israeli baby. So when you have that kind of vicious hatred and revenge, you get response of hatred and revenge. They are all wrong. They're all war crimes. They're all to be condemned. But it's like, dude, the question to, to pose to Sean is like, what do you think happens to a Palestinian baby when a fucking Israeli munition is dumped on their on their house or the hospital? You know what I mean? You think the baby's head is intact? Like, what 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 happens? Like, is that is that the the method of execution? That's the that's the problem here. Like, what's going on? But you cannot simply look at this particular moment without Republicans be like, is really fucked up uh, how uh, you know babies die when they should actually uh, be be forcibly carried to term so they can live a life of like poverty and 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 fucking awful monstrous conditions that we subject to them so that inevitably if they make it to 18 they can become soldiers and go fucking die somewhere so that a Raytheon executive can can uh, uh talk about how their their quarterly returns are better that's what we need to do with our babies okay at the larger backdrop of an ugly occupation and the ugly attacks chronically against Palestinians. Those I are want to not give my your brother. words. Largely right. Israel and the United States are primarily responsible it, for this. 100%. It's, it's true. It's correct. It's correct. It's just these guys are, are hopped up on fucking nuclear levels of copium, I think. To be like, oh, well, how, how is this our fault? It's like, bitch, yes, it is, okay? This attack, Professor Dershowitz. Well, I complained when Palestinian children were killed, but I explained why they were killed. Here is one of the leaders of Hamas. For the Palestinian people, death has become an industry. The elderly excel at this, and so do the children. This is why we have formed... Who's killing them? Who's who's doing it, Dersh? Once again, it's just like it's the classic is the classic propaganda. It's like, oh, we had no other option. It's like, bro, you're shooting them. Like, what what do you mean? You're bombing them. 
Oh, it's a it's a human shield. It's a human shield. It is such a disgusting thing to fucking keep repeating. But I guess if you repeat a lie long enough, it becomes the truth, right? Human shields of the women and the children. Hamas is the ones responsible for the killing of Palestinian children. Also bro, 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 bro. If you are shooting someone, okay, if you are shooting someone, you can't turn around and be like, man, it's really fucked up how you, you made me shoot this baby. The violent retaliation from people that have been locked in a fucking prison their whole goddamn lives is not the same as the most militarized state purposely enacting a policy of vengeance, a policy of vengeance that has been ongoing that has caused this violent retaliation to begin with. This is why the story is fucking insane, especially when there's a different way out of that. So the Hamas has a term. It's called the CNN strategy. And the CNN strategy is induce Israel into killing Palestinian children. I'm sorry, man. That's nuts. That's nuts. Like he, he's saying it like he's openly saying it like we're inducing Israel into killing children so CNN can cover it is such a fucking psychotic thing. By using them as human shields, then parade the bodies out on CNN and you'll see what happens. People like Cornell West will engage in crocodile tears, blame it on Israel, when the entire blame is on the Palestinians, Hamas, for using their children, their children as human shields, and then using their children. Like us blowing up the children, we're totally, totally in the right here. Them putting the children in the way of our bombs, it's really fucked up. Children as shields Professor, but, to but, permit but, 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 I, I, look, if I'm the Dersh, I'm not saying children, children, children over and over again. But, 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 but don't accuse me. What is Hamas's that? charter? Yeah. Yeah. I have the same. This man will not protect children in any circumstance after that trial. Yeah. Really? That's the only guy you can find to defend uh, the <laughs> defend the argument? So stupid. Outrage when Palestinian babies are killed, when it Jewish babies be are Israeli babies. Outrage. I want you to have the same indignation oh. when Palestinians are killed. Not when they're That's killed not consistent. when they're killed by Palestinians. When that you can't make Where's a Bro, <laughs> this is the this is the fucking victims of communism technique, okay? Literally just a black on black crime excuse. I hate the dirt so much. No, it's worse than that. No, it's even it's even worse than that because the black on black uh, violence one is just a simply a simple method of of deflection. Th this would be like saying no, the police actually have to be really violent because black people want to kill the cops. Black on black violence is simply to say. Huh, you don't care about black death. You never cover when black uh, black people kill other black people. You know, what about that? That is a whataboutism, okay? His is worse. The Moral comparison. Humanity. When Nazi kids were killed in the bombings of Dresden, I didn't have the same comparison when Jewish kids were put in gas chambers and crematoriums. You're a professor of theology. Wait, why does... The, bro, it's so odd to use Dresden. Like, there are so many other more viable arguments to make. I just, it's so odd. He just said Nazi children. Like, what the fuck? Why, why am I hearing Dresden so much? Yeah, why do they keep mentioning Dresden, the only allied bombing campaign that's questioned to this day? Because like, I just, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't understand it. Like, dude, if I have ghettoized uh, an entire population of people whose land I've taken to create living space for myself, and then on the other hand, created an open air prison or a concentration camp that I routinely bomb, uh, on the other side of the uh, of the equation, like I wouldn't be making Nazi comparisons so fucking willingly, you know what I mean? So openly, but I guess I guess it works. It sticks because like they also literally say that uh, Palestinians are like Russians in this situation. Don't you understand the moral difference I, between uh, deliberately murdering a kid and having collateral damage because there are human shields? You're running for president of the United States. What would you do? Oh, if, you wait, wait, wait. Let me tell you. Let me, you ask the question. let me ask the question. Okay. What would you do if they were firing, if terrorists were firing at American children in America and the terrorists were hiding behind Palestinian children? Would you allow? Bad take us on. Our enemies have always used human shields. The Japanese military used the civilians of Hiroshima and Nagasaki of human sh as human shields, so we had to nuke them. Yeah. It always feels like uh, whoever our enemies are, no matter what kind of fucking, what kind of devastation we bring upon their, their uh, civilian population is just, you know? Allow the killing of Americans to continue, or would you go and get the terrorists, even if it meant possibly collateral damage on Palestinians? What would you do? I'll tell you exactly what
that I would do. First, truth and morality tend to be two casualties in any context of war. I would want to tell the American people the truth. I would tell them what the context is, how we found ourselves in this situation. And I would not jump question. for a military what, what invasion. And yeah, this is a great this is a great question that people always ask. Like, what do you do after 9-11? Literally the opposite of what we did. And I stand by that and and I am 100 percent correct. We are living in the rubbles that we have caused in the post 9-11 universe. What would you do after 9-11? Not whatever we did. OK, it's not violent retaliation. Not the world would be objectively a better place if we never invaded Afghanistan and we never invaded Iraq after 9-11. And the irony of the 9-11 the analogies is also so apt in many ways because, like, like you're going and, and attacking random people that had nothing to do with the, the attack. Just like in 9-11, you can't find where the people are that perpetrated this act of terror and, like, uh, do, do some kind of targeted strike. No, you can't. You don't want to do that because that's not the goal. And to be fair, that is what, you know, Netanyahu has openly mentioned time and time again. It's not like it's, you know, it's a, it's a gift. And a genocidal attack on a... a genocidal attack? On Gaza. No, no. You, it's you, you not a genocidal attack when you're Where are they supposed to go? When you're where are they supposed to go? Now, this is like Warsaw, 1943. Where do they go? Where do they go? Yes. Let me tell you where they go. Do they where go to the UN? UN, UN is keeping from Gaza them. to they Geneva. Go, they go to no, no, no. The UN has places in Gaza. They go to the eleven crossing. UN people have they, been killed they, in the last few they days. Go, they go to Egypt. They go. Egypt had to wait a minute. Get out. Let Come me on, make brother. another thing clear. No, Gaza no, no, City no. is very dense. Absolutely but Gaza it itself, is. the Gaza Strip, there's lots of room. The Israelis have said, get out of Gaza City. Go to Rafa. Go to uh, uh, Khan Yunus. Go to other places. And you know what Hamas With is no saying? no water, no Wait food, no electricity. You know what Hamas is dark? saying? Hamas is saying, don't go. Oh, I'm, I'm not don't here to defend go. Hamas. Well, you are no, I'm not defending oh. Hamas. Yeah, dude, it's like, okay, well, if you know that, why don't you just stop bombing? Like, okay, do a ground invasion. But you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that because you don't want to lose IDF lives. You want to keep fucking lobbing missiles at babies from hundreds of miles away. Okay, that's it. Mom, Wait a don't minute. you ever lie on me Did like you that, brother? Ever? I'm defending the suffering and the, and the, of, of Palestinians. I want to hear and, how, and Hamas itself I, I hear, war crimes. I want to hear you Anybody say. Anybody who... That's all you got. Oh, what about this? What about that? Commits war crimes are barbaric. I, I'm saying that explicitly, but I, I want I, you to say if the Israeli defense forces are killing children, no, no. are they barbaric too? No, no, are they, no, are they ever no, barbaric? No, no, no. If they target, no. if they target children, yes. Uh, have they ever targeted no, children? No, absolutely have never, ever, never, in, 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 never in, in, in the history. In 78 years. Have they ever targeted oh, brother, a child? You got to get off the crack pipe, and, and, man. And please. No, no, they please. Have never targeted. You don't think a they kill one innocent not person purposely? Since 1948, not, not. Are they that pure? Are they that? You don't have to. Be very Come pure, on, not to kill Please. a child, not to kill oh. a child. Let me let they me kill let me, 550. Let me, let me show because something. they're being used as human shields. Let me show something. We we on this. Yeah, this is a ridiculous fucking conversation to have. I'm sorry, and not gonna lie, it's a it's a little disappointing to hear Cornell was not be able to turn around and be like in 2018 when there was a peaceful march to return the the IDF sniper very deliberately and very purposely fucking targeted children that they shot, and which the IDF openly stated uh, they knew exactly who the fuck they were shooting at. Every single bullet was accounted for. That alone is enough to just like end that conversation. Alan Dershowitz's response in and of itself is already an admission that they target children. And it's just he has a description for it. The question to pose in this circumstance is this. Both of these people are coming to the table with the recognition that, yes, Israel has targeted children. Is it morally justifiable? And he thinks it's morally just and it's justifiable because these children are human shields. That's it. Right, young children. That is, you're teaching them to hate from that young age. Not good. <laughs> no. Here's the problem. Any with, kind of here's the problem of with, hatred with is your, immoral and wrong. Here's the problem I, I have with your brothers and others. Are, if there's any hatred of anybody. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Cat on a journey. Thank you for the 50 gifted subs. I mean, okay, would, would you condemn too. Black Lives Matter Chicago for justifying the Hamas murder? Will you now condemn an entire movement will you now condemn an entire movement how unproductive has has this conversation been hey i saw this tweet it had like two likes hey i saw this tweet it had ten thousand likes fuck two likes hundred thousand likes that's a tweet brother Reality, okay no so you condemn black lives but part, matter part of our challenge though and this is this is hey, look at this he, he, he's, he's sneaking that in he's like so you condemn black lives matter important just as as a leader you see he asked me what i would do i would say we've got the in occupation we got to this make sure that palestinians have the same dignity the same
I hated watching this. This hurt my fucking soul, dude. 